What? The store is emptied out? What? I need to get down there now. I need to get extras of everything. Oh my god. Okay, I'm heading out now. Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii Preppers Network 808. Okay, that scenario will more than likely happen again and probably again. So today I'd like to um, touch upon a lot of things that we may need to double, triple, quadruple up on. These things will be sort of in a sense layered preps, layer upon layers um, that we can still acquire during this time. And a lot of these things, maybe some of us have missed, um, um, but I do have quite a few items here with me uh, just to show you as a sample. And mind you, there are a lot more other items. And so if I've missed items, put it in the comment below and help our um, subscribers and those that are passing through to find these messages and comments and that would help them to pick up other items that I may have missed during this video. And so, yes, layering preps, backups, spare parts. Now everyone knows how important it is to have extras on hand just in case, in case of a power outage, in case of a toilet paper run, all of the above. Uh, so I figured out, I pick a few items here and just go over them with you as quickly as I can, I'm hoping. Um, but landline phones, the importance of landline phones, good to have if everything goes out. And the only thing that be working will be working in your home uh, for communication, calling your family, friends, and whoever need be to be called. Your landline phone will be the only device that will be working. Everything else will basically be out, especially with a power outage. And we wouldn't know how long this power outage would last. Therefore, have yourself a spare landline phone. The next item here I felt important to have extras, backup spares, is your can opener. Once again, electric can openers will not work without electricity in the event there is a power outage and these come in really handy. A lot of them are very expensive now so if you have not prepped up quite a few of these do get a move on and grab yourself as many as needed for you, your family members and perhaps even your neighbors or friends that may be needing a can opener. Um, in the event of an emergency. So pick up quite a few of these if you can. Next item would be toothbrushes. It's always good to have a lot of toothbrushes on hand so that not just for yourself and your family members, but you can also barter with toothbrushes. Everything that you are prepping, you can barter those items for much needed items that perhaps you may need from another individual. So pick up quite a few of these, watch for sales because they do go on sale and buy them all because there's multiple uses for the toothbrush, not just brushing your teeth, but you could clean things that are very small or um, hard to get to in cleaning by using the toothbrush which will alleviate that so pick yourself up extra toothbrushes another item that I wanted to show you is this is toothpaste you want to have 
several tubes of toothpaste. You can have the travel toothpaste as well for bartering. But this is another alternative to toothpaste. These are actually tablets. I don't know if you can see it here. But I got this at our health food store a while back. So these are really handy. You just pop one to two in your mouth and the saliva in your mouth will bring on the bubbling effect, the fizzing effect of toothpaste so that you don't need to use that much water. And so these are tablets and let's show you. So there's another option for toothpaste. Have several different options in a lot of your preps in the event that one item doesn't quite work out or turn out the way that you've expected. So you have another option and another option, plan B, C, and D. You're gonna have several different options. So this is another option that you may want to look into. I'm not sure how much it'll cost in your area, um, but it's pretty pricey here. Um, now it is, um, but I forgot how much I got these. Sorry about the flying bird up there that makes a lot more noise than the winged ones. Sorry about that. Next item would be your fingernail cutters. It's always good to have several of these on hand to maintain your nails, your toenails, your fingernails, and there is also a file on it. So make sure there is a filing part to it as well. These you can also barter, but you're gonna you're gonna need these, um, especially if you know SHTF and your nails start going longer and longer and start getting dirtier and dirtier. You're gonna wanna maintain that cleanliness of your hands and fingernails. So get quite a few of these. Next would be your mobile battery packs. Have extra of these on hand just in case you're somewhere out and about and your phone dies you're gonna want to have battery backup systems on hand for you at all times so stock up on a couple of these not just one or two stock up on as many as you possibly can for you as well as your family members and according to how many devices that you do have. You want to have several different options, not just adapters or other cords that you have, um, but you want to have battery backup, especially if the power goes out and you've already charged these up. These will come in very handy for your devices. It'll temporarily help, you know, extend the life of your devices so it doesn't hurt to have quite a few of these on hand so stock up on these battery backups for your devices next would be don't forget your headlamps i have quite a few headlamps so this one you know this one it moves So this is hands-free. That's the great thing I like about headlamps is you don't have to be carrying something around in your hand. You know, it's hands-free, so you have two hands to work with if need be. If you need to go outside and check on the house in a storm or rain, you have your headlamp that you can just put on and you're good to go. Um, if your car breaks down, you want to have one of these in your car so that you can go out, especially if it's at night and something happens with your car. And you can check it out with your headlamp. But make sure you have batteries for the headlamps 
and do not leave the batteries in there for extended periods because it will rust and it will start to seep out. I've had that happen to me years ago, so I've learned my lesson. So have a spare batteries in a separate container along with your headlamp here. And so these come in very handy so for you and your family as well. So stock up on a couple of these as well as a backup and spare. Next would be now a lot of preppers, hikers, hunters, and people have these these uh, bracelets, these paracord bracelets here. Mine happens to have a compass on it. Um, I know how to make these, so they're not really hard, really simple. Just just go on here on YouTube and look up how to make how to make um, paracord bracelets, paracord everything literally you can make. But these come in real handy in the event that your SHTF and you know everybody's you get the picture um, and you have to pretty much go into rural country you know you need to learn how to use it you need to learn all the different ways of using paracord and taking it apart and utilizing the cord in it so you might want to do research on that look that up do your homework when it comes to the paracord bracelet um, but another thing I wanted to um, kind of discuss about about these bracelets is if you have a group a community you might want to have everyone wearing these you know this could be sort of like a silent secret type of code banding Everyone could either have the same color or different colors. However, you're going to make things for the community, for your group, your preparedness groups like that, where if we ever get to that point where no one else knows what's going on within your community, within your um, groups, and that way all the group members will know what the colors stand for what it means you know you figure out systems regarding this same as any actually you can do this with any type of bracelet you can do this with a beaded bracelet um, but for the beaded bracelet i think this one would fall apart a lot faster than your regular cord type of bracelet like this type of bracelet or this one is more stronger more sturdier and so you can come up with something um you know brainstorm how you're going to utilize this um, by keeping things under the radar regarding you and your group so have quite a few of these on hand and learn how to make these yourself for you and your family as well as your community and your group Next would be reading glasses. It never hurts to have several pairs, extra pairs, spares of reading glasses at all times. Also have the um, glass, um, I'm thinking fixer upper, but the glass eyeglass repair kit. Have repair kits on hand so that you can repair the glasses that you do have, especially if you have a limited amount of reading glasses on hand. Um, if you do, look into you know, getting more, getting more of these spare glasses. But there are a lot of different reading glasses. There are magnify, magnification type of glasses. I would suggest to pick a couple of those up as well. Um, you know your vision number. So 
if you're at one particular vision like for instance if you're at 1.50 you might want to get not just 1.50 but 1.75 2.0 and all the way up just in case your vision starts to go down you want to have the higher magnification glasses as well so stock up and have quite a few of your reading glasses on hand as well the next would be your two-way radios communication just in case you know so have several different two-way radios not just one that way you have backup upon backup plan B C D like I've stated before you want to have all different ones and all your family members need to have their own two-way radios and so figure out how you're gonna do this um, what brands you're gonna look into and how many of these that you are going to need and start utilizing these work with these with your family members don't forget that some of these take batteries if not some most do take batteries you can plug them into the wall socket um, but get a variety of them you know don't limit yourself to just one set because that one set what what's going to happen if it conks out and so see if you can get more than one set for you and your family and figure out the amount of sets that you're going to need as well next would be you know your regular different flashlights we have a variety of different flashlights and i love flashlights so i have quite a few um, but i just brought out the headlamp and just this particular one and so I have different flashlights and this one I really like you can carry it in this way there's also a magnet at the bottom here in the event that I'm in the rain this is in my car I need to check what's going on and my car is stalled and stuff so and when I open it the light comes on here and then also you snap this into place and then there's a button here that has three different ways in that the flashlight flashes so have a variety of different flashlights not just one type but keep in mind that you're going to also have a variety of different batteries that go with the particular flashlights as well so you're going to have to stock up an extra there as well next uh, let's see here is your box cutters a lot of us have box cutters but we also need to stock up on the blades so make sure you have an ample supply of the blades that goes with your box cutter because you don't want to go to your box cutter need this for cutting something and find out that the blade is rusted or broken and you have no spare blades so be sure to stock up on an ample supply of the blades as well next item would be Now, if you have a weed eater, you're definitely going to need extra cording. So make sure you have quite a lot of these on hand and stock. Stock up on these as well. Go to the hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere you can get them that fits your particular weed eater. And always have this on hand. I'm sure you can use this in other ways in multiple uses but basically for your weed eater you don't want to run out of that next i have here probably probably the last 
I have but not least because there are so many different things that we can layer our preps with um, spare parts you know like a car spare tires everything to do with the car everything to do with the house spare tools garden tools nails screws all the tools that we're going to need you want to double up on them and so the next item here i have would be your feminine pads now ladies we all need these on a monthly basis but these have multiple purposes of use you can utilize this for heavy wounds um, I used these when several years ago my dog um, had surgery and he had to remove a growth on his leg so I utilized all of these with gauze as well to bandage and rebandage him um, came in super handy these are super handy for wounds this is good for wound care and it's foldable and you can slip these into your first aid kit as well or create a type of first aid kit um, with these so these are very valuable to have and I have them here in one of my first aid kits here that I used for my dogs for my pets so this is basically about it that I have but like I said a lot of you will have a lot more different ideas on backups and spare parts and having prep wise you want to get this all together now while things are still available um, things are really amplifying up in the world and we're watching it and seeing it unfold on a daily basis uh, so we want to you know step up and get things going as soon as we possibly can other than that have a great day and aloha